Because she's in a good mood, that actually makes this twice as great. Because today I'm reading a story about a little boy who's going over to his grandmother's house and they have a very special day together. But not only does that happen, something special happens at the end. Are you curious to know what's going to happen? I am too. So I'm not going to make you guys wait any longer. We're going to go ahead and jump into the story. Okay? So welcome back to Miss P's Book Nook. Yeah! <laughs> Today we are reading Full, Full, Full of Love by Trish Cook. On Sunday, Mama took JJ to Granny's house. I'll go get Dad, Mama said. I won't be long. Gran is soft and warm and full. Full of hugs and kisses. Kiss, kiss, hugs and cuddles. Granny was cooking. The dinner smelled yummy. Is dinner ready, Gran? asked JJ. But Gran shook her head. Dinner is not ready yet, she said. Come, let's put out the dishes. Granny's cupboard is always full. Full of colorful dishes. Clink, clink, clatter, clatter. But J.J. was hungry. Is dinner ready now, he asked. Gran shook her head. Dinner's not ready yet. Come, let's feed the fish. Granny's fish tank is full, full of all kinds of fishes. Splash, splish, wiggle, wiggle. But J.J. was hungry. So J.J. asked again. Is dinner ready now, Gran? Gran shook her head. Dinner's not ready yet, she said. Come, let's... Then J.J. saw the candy tin. Granny's candy tin was full, full up to the brim. Tip, tip, struggle, juggle. Gran said no, but seeing all that candy had made J.J. even hungrier than before. So he asked again, is dinner nearly ready, Gran? Gran shook her head. Dinner's not ready yet, she said. Come, let's look for the others. So they looked out the window, and they waited and waited. Tick-tock, snuggle-cuddle. Then J.J. saw a car come around the corner. Then another, and another. And the car stopped one behind the other, and they all came. Uncles and aunties, cousins and friends, Mama and Daddy, all come for Sunday dinner at Granny's. Dinner must be ready now, Gran. J.J. grinned, and Gran laughed. Mm-hmm, I think it is. There were buttery peas, chicken and yams, macaroni and cheese, potatoes and ham, biscuits, gravy, collard greens, pasta salad, rice and red beans. There was apple pie and vanilla ice cream, fresh peach cobbler covered in steam, raspberry sauce, coffee and tea, plenty, plenty for everybody. J.J. said, I'm going to pop. And Cousin said, I have to stop. More pie, please. Uncle said, and Auntie and Mama shook their heads. Not for me. I've had enough. Granny let out a big belly laugh. Dad said, Just a little bit more. On top of his cobbler, Gran started to pour more raspberry sauce. Everybody was full, full of Granny's dinner. Yum, yum, giggle, giggle. 
Then Granny pulled up a footstool, put up her feet, and sighed. All right, you kids. One wash, one dry. On Sunday, JJ had dinner at Granny's house. And when it was time to go, he climbed on Granny's lap. He kissed her, and she kissed him back. And then they hugged, and hugged and hugged. And full of hugs, they hugged some more. Granny's house is always full, full of hugs and kisses, full of tasty dishes, full of all kinds of fishes, full to the brim with happy faces, full, full, full of love. That Sunday dinner at Granny's house. That was such a sweet story, and I enjoyed it so much because it hit so close to home for me. It reminds me of all the Sunday dinners that I've had with my family over the years, and how much fun that we've had together. And you know what? I actually keep that going with my own family. Miss P. Yes. I wonder if we can have cool dishes for every day of the week. Sure. Like what? Like. Meatloaf Monday. Uh huh. Taco Tuesday. Sure. Um, Weenie Wednesday. Uh huh. And oh, okay, I get it. And you know what? I think that's a great idea. So why don't you come over every day this week, and we'll pick out something yummy for all of us to eat. That would be great. Can I invite my whole family? Of course. I wouldn't have it any other way. And you know what? I'm looking at the time, and it is time for us to go. Yes, I know, but that's okay because we will be back on Tuesday with a whole new story. And I'm hoping you'll come back and join us again, guys. Okay? Well, that's our show. It's time to go from Miss P's Nook. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Don't forget to come back next Tuesday for a whole new story. See you then. Thank you.